Again, while en route back, Gordon received word that another B-25 went down while on a strafing run. Without hesitation, he turned his plane around and set course for its last known position. This rescue would end up being the fourth and most dangerous one of the day. As they were running low on fuel, the last two P-47 escorts had to return to refuel, so Gordon had to attempt the rescue without support. In addition, this rescue was magnitudes more dangerous as he had to fly low over Japanese positions at Kaviang Harbor to reach Captain William Cavoli's downed aircraft just 600 yards offshore. Repeating the same procedures, Gordon power stalled the aircraft and put it down by the two rafts that the men were on. Gordon's plane was well within range of the Japanese guns, but again the heavy swells provided some protection from enemy fire. It also meant that a lot of water was leaking into the aircraft. With some of the men bailing the water, the others were able to pull all six men of the downed bomber into the plane. 